What is up YouTube? Today we are gonna be replacing the fender on this 2004 Jeep TJ Wrangler. The problem with these fenders, they're notorious for rusting out. I'm like, there goes my mom. Bye mom. The fenders are notorious for rusting out because if you look on the underside, there is a piece of metal that kind of um, allows water to get trapped in there and then over time these fenders corrode. So we're going to be replacing it with a new fender. The new fender was purchased from JC Whitney. It actually came with a primer coating already on it and then we went ahead and applied POR15 to the underside ourselves to make sure that this won't happen again and that's what we're going to be showing you. So let's get started. Okay, so we removed the airbox filter. That was three eight millimeter bolts. There's nuts on the bottom for those. We removed the battery. There's two nuts that hold the J brackets on. So you take those off, you disconnect the battery terminals, and then there's four bolts that hold the battery tray down. And these are probably gonna be very, very rusty. So good luck with those. When you go to remove the battery tray, there is an electrical sensor that is at the bottom of the battery tray. This measures the temperature of the battery. And there's gonna be three bolts for this fuse box that we're gonna have to remove. We're going to undo the plastic clips for this AC line and then we can start working on the bolts that hold the fender to the Jeep. So there's two of these clips on each side of the fuse box. There you go. Move that out of the way. Alright, fuse box bracket. Now that we've removed most of the accessories from the inside of the fender under the hood, we're going to remove the wheel and then that'll give us more access to the underside of the fender where we can remove the rest of the bolts. Oh yeah, look at all the space. There's two lights attached to this fender. We're going to need to take the light out so that the fender can come off. These plastic clips also are attached to the fender for the light harness, so pop those out with your tool. And then we can start removing the bolts that hold the fender to the Jeep. There is a 13 millimeter nut here, and actually that holds on the latch for the hood up on the top. On the front of the fender, there are three bolts, and then there are another three bolts. So six bolts total, and take them off. Woo! Here's the other three bolts on the other side of that triangle piece. So take those out next. Onto the back side of the fender. We're gonna go ahead and start with these four bolts. The last four bolts we need to remove are on this outer line along the fender. There's four of them. These are also half inch socket bolts. So pretty much all the major bolts that hold the fender to the Jeep were half inch. The bolt on the bottom actually broke. So we're gonna have to drill that out after we get this fender off and insert a new riv nut so that we can use a new bolt. Fender is off. Now that the fender's off, we should start removing the accessories, like the fender flare, and we have this diamond plate uh, cover on the top, on the front corner. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off and start putting everything on the new fender. Now these Jeep fenders are notorious for rusting out, generally in this spot right here. And you can see it's coming up from the bottom all the way to the outside. The reason for this is because from the factory, these Jeep fenders have a piece of metal welded right here. It's for structural support to stop vibration uh, for wind and stuff, but moisture can get under here. And they don't really do a good job of getting primer between this when they install it from the factory. So the moisture sits in there and stews and creates corrosion and slowly but surely, these fenders just die. We have 10 screws holding this fender flare on. Then we have two screws over here holding the corner light on and one screw on plastic thread, so this should be interesting, holding this flasher light on. So overall, 13 screws. We're now going to install very carefully this brand new shiny, beautiful yellow fender. Go to your home. Go home. Okay, so we've just installed the battery tray. Cliff cleaned up the fuse box bracket, so we're gonna wait for that to dry. Then we'll reinstall the fuse box where it belongs. Uh, we can start clipping in the AC line again, and then we can put the air box in, and we're pretty much finished with it at that point. We 
we've got the fender on, the hood is shut, the latch is properly aligned. Finally, we're at the fender flare part. Just be patient, it's pretty straightforward. It requires an eight millimeter socket or wrench. So let's get this back on. Now there's two different kinds of screws that hold these fender flares on. You have this one with a built-in giant washer, and then you have these smaller ones with actually a um, flathead screwdriver notched into it. There's three of these screws with the large washer built in. They go to the back of the fender flare, and then the other seven are these types of screws. We're adding washers to go on the screws because last time, the heads of the screws are actually getting sucked kind of too deep into the uh, fender flare plastic and we were having a very difficult time. That was what made it the most difficult to get this thing off. So the, the little washers will help tremendously and just make it fasten better to the fender. So it's a little bit of an upgrade. Pop the wheel back on and don't forget to torque up the lug nuts and you should be good to go. So there you go, guys. That's how you replace the fender on a Jeep Wrangler TJ. We hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give us a big like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a good one. Look at that, shiny. Won't stay like that very long, but looks good for now.